situation that we are failing, uh, facing in Manipur is very unprecedented. We have never faced anything of this kind uh, in our long years of history. Challenges, of course, are multiple. situation that we are failing, uh, facing in Manipur is very unprecedented. Uh, we have never faced anything of this kind uh, in our long years of uh, history. It's new to us, it's new to Manipur also. In a way, something similar happened in the early 90s when the Nagas and Kukis fought and then within the Kuki groups also there was a fight in late 90s. But this kind of the scale of violence is unprecedented, as I said. So the challenges, of course, are multiple. Uh, one today, when I see, I think the biggest challenge is uh, the large number of weapons that are out uh, with in both the communities. The society has become weaponized. Uh, unless these weapons come back in whatever way they can, uh, this challenge will remain the biggest. Related to this is the minds of uh, both the communities. Today, uh, there is so much against each other, it is so corrupted. This needs to be stalled. There is a need for realization to come for the people that the only way forward is peace. They have to talk, they have to get back to negotiations. Uh, other challenges, of course, for us are many. You would have seen that in the media has been covered in ample measure of road blockades being done, um, logistics at times for our forces itself, we are not able to send movement of troops are being hampered at times. Um, so these are things which uh, have not happened on such scale um, and let's hope we are able to get over these. Uh, media, uh, various media has also reported uh, some kinds of the uh, militants from the uh, Myanmar also sneak to uh, Manipur or the Mizoram also. Uh, some of them also been deployed along the uh, Indo-Myanmar border from the uh, or national borders towards the Manipur also uh, or Mizoram. Uh, sir, uh, what your uh, uh, some of have been uh, taking up to stop the illegal infiltration or the drugs that, uh, or the illegal weapons uh, from the uh, Myanmar side towards the uh, India side. Uh, this is something that uh, has not been communicated but uh, I want to lay certain doubts at rest. Our people who are now boarding the border, um, uh, guarding the border uh, are doing their role even more seriously. The number of patrols that are out, the ambushes that are out, the searches that are being undertaken are much more to extent than what it was earlier. Um, now in terms of, you asked a question about uh, people coming from across with weapons, uh, there would be people coming across. Uh, we have caught some of them. They have been handed over to the police. Uh, some of it has been reported in the media, some of it is not. Uh, so that really doesn't matter so long as we are doing our job. And I want to uh, assure you that we are doing it with all sincerity and uh, that if there are people coming with weapons, that is again an area of concern. So after the prevalence, any uh, development has been increased or uh, the more uh, Assam Rifles person have been deployed along the Indo-Myanmar uh, border? Uh, like you would know, there are uh, certain additional troops that have come into Manipur. Some of them are uh, involved in uh, handling the, uh, in the local 
situation that is there and of course some of them uh, have been you know given task of doing additional duties on the border